bought this chuck a few weeks ago, they were on special off at Kennedy Tools. I don't know how much it was, but it wasn't greatly expensive. 1 to 16 mil with a JT6 taper. Now I've just received an R8 to JT6 Arbor, which was unbelievably inexpensive. Looks decent. I had one of these ones and I, and I went like that and that edge there was like a razor blade and I cut my thumb quite badly. This one seems a little bit better machined and that goes into there. Before I put it into there I'll show you how I'm going to put it into there. I'm going to run this up in the mill machine and see how true it actually runs. The first thing I'm going to do is clean this and clean the socket on the mill machine to make sure there's no dirt or grease or oil or anything nasty up there. A little bit of brake cleaner is all that's required. Brake cleaner or alcohol. You can see it's I clean the socket as well. I don't keep on top of this and keep it as best as possible. Make sure I get some more burrs or marks up there. Right, so basically that's as good as I'm going to get. That feels quite nice. Nice tight fit. Well, that's running there. It looks to be running through with it. The centre wheel is obviously wobbling around, pissed your waist in your time, but that looks, looks half decent. I'll put a clock gauge on there and see what it, what it actually says. That's pleasant. Less than a fanny's hair, possibly quarter of a thou, if that. Virtually nothing at all. <coughs> Seemingly happy with that. Better than I expected. I expected more than than that. So I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Make sure in there it's clean, really clean. No oil, no grease, no nothing. Make sure that the choke's backed off so the jaws are protected behind the collar. Choke fully open, like that. So that's nice and clean, nice and dry. Push it in, turn it, and you feel it. Want to you feel there's no no nasty burrs. It's actually trying to tighten up there. So I'm going to leave it like that. A piece of aluminium to rest that on. You can put a block of wood on there and hit that with a hammer. But I've got a, a heavy face hammer. You hit it once. Well, it only takes one blow, and that's it. That's the job done. I'm just going to come up a little bit.
I need to throw one decent smack on there. That's it. All you need to do. And that now is in there and I wouldn't need to try and get it out. So I'll put it back in the machine now. We'll put something in there and see how much run out we've got in the chuck. The dull pin here which will be These will be straight out of the throat. Once again we'll run it up. And it appears to be running reasonably true. Do the same test on it with the drop gauge. Obviously we've got a lot more stick out than we had up there that was virtually non-existent there but what that was it'll be amplified all the way through this part now all the way through the chuck and that's got two thou for a keyless chuck that's going to be drilling wheels on a middle machine I'm quite happy with that very happy indeed I keep the light off there. The thing is zero. So that's got a couple of thou. It's kind of a copy of that. That's that's an old bright chuck. That's a, a real one. Uh, who are here? H's. Wouldn't have been the person that paid for this. I've got two of them. I got them. I think I got one given and bought one of the car boot sale. That's the other one. I'm using the lathe hole bright.